All right, hi everyone. My name's PK, and in this episode, I have Jack Seymour with me, who about two months ago bought this pretty pretty fantastic property. I'll go through the details. Three hundred ninety-two thousand dollar purchase price, regional New South Wales, rents for four hundred a week, positive cash flow. He bought it off market, which means it wasn't on domain or real estate. He did all of this using data without using a buyer's agent and we'll get into the whole buyer's agent thing in a little while if jack permits because there's a bit of an interesting story there but guys you know this is just classic high performance property investing jack thank you so much for making time no thank you pk it's good to be here mate and it's a, a pleasure to talk to, to talk with you awesome awesome um so i mean we've been discussing before i hit record <laughs> but Maybe just if you can, for the benefit of everyone, you know, the people who are listening on this or on YouTube, Facebook, all over the place. And guys, if you are on YouTube, I'd be so grateful if you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, give it a thumbs up. You will genuinely get a lot of value from this episode. Jack, what was your like property background before you did the, the property investment accelerator, but before you worked with me? Okay, so I have been working, you know, as a hobby part time um, as an assistant buyer's agent in Sydney's eastern suburbs. You know, you're, you're one of your preferred professions, I think, PK. <laughs> you love us guys. I love you guys. Um, <laughs> love, love us. And mate, so I've been doing that for about 15 months. I've got my class two real estate license working towards my class one. Um, so look, I've had a lot of experience in dealing with real estate agents. Um, building those relationships, working out comparables, but all very much in my backyard. So I grew up in the eastern suburbs. I know all the streets. You know, it's 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 easy. It was an easy transition for me to do. Um, on top of that, you know, I've got a fitness business, and that's sort of the bread bread and butter of what I do. But what I ultimately wanted to do was get into the property market myself. Something I hadn't done yet because the eastern suburbs was out of my grasp financially. Um, yields way too poor in order to, you know, for investment purposes, need 40% down for it to, uh, to be, you know, neutrally geared to be worthwhile and, um, started talking to agents and, and buyers agents about buying into state, where to buy. And none of them could actually give me a, an answer. No one really knew about buying outside of their own domain. And I knew there must've been a way to be able to figure out systematically where to buy somewhere where you're going to see good short-term capital growth. You know, you're going to be positively geared, neutrally geared. So I started searching. Um, somehow I came across you. I don't know if it was through Facebook, not sure if it was through Google, um, but it would have been about 13, 14 months ago I came across you, PK. And I never mm. jump into anything straight up. Um, so I started watching your, uh, your YouTube channel, um, all your videos, followed your Facebook page. And, um, and just got a feel for the person who you were, um, what you were offering. And, you know, you, you come across as a very humble, honest, uh, honest person. And along with all the um, testimonials I'd seen, I thought, you know what, let's have a chat to PK, see what this is all about. And, you know, look, we spoke and within five minutes, it was, it was a done deal, mate. And probably one of the best decisions that I ever made. Oh. You don't have to say that. That's very, that's very kind of you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And look, I'll, I'll ask you um, why you chose me, but just for everyone's benefit, we, we're going to go into exactly how um, Jack got this deal. So, so wait around for that while I go through the ma marketing fluff. Um, but like Jack, you know, I was asking you before as well, there's a million property experts and gurus out there. Um, you know, in Australia, everyone's an expert. I know you've followed me for a while. I know you've kind of, um, you know, watched testimonials, but to this day, um, people say that, you know, someone can hire an actor named Jack Seymour and have a testimonial on YouTube. But how did it's you true. kind of, you know, which you can, I'm sure. Um, how did you actually kind of see through, you know, I suppose like the veneer, how did you see through that and actually make a decision to, to go with me, especially since, like I asked you on that strategy call that you booked, you're already a buyer's agent. You're already surrounded by people who knew property. Like, sure. why did you even go with me or do a course as opposed to hire another buyer's agent? Mate, honestly, it just came down to the hours that I put into watching your videos, um, doing my research on you. Um, I took, didn't take, there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of people doing similar kinds of things online, but they just, 
that, to me, didn't seem like there was much integrity or honesty behind those people. For me, that was the most important. You, you know, you, you exude the, the honesty and integrity of the person that you are from, from the videos that I watch. And that was enough for me. Um, being in the fitness game, I've done, you know, I've, I've done two or three courses in my time and, you know, online marketing and uh, SEO, those kind of things. Some of them being great, some of them being terrible, but it's doing had it, having done that in the past, it made me a little uh, this this whole process a little easier. Right. The, the, the trust process a little bit easier. But when it what it comes down to is just watching your videos were enough for me to make this decision. And to be honest, the price of the course with the information you're going to offer, I couldn't imagine that I was going to lose out on the. Uh, lose out in the end the reality was that it's a mindset thing you know a hundred percent you're a business owner so you kind of understand it but yeah it's a big thing to kind of hand over you know five six thousand dollars um you know to someone you found on the internet doing a course i, I understand it's it's kind of a, a big thing but i'm grateful that you actually did it um and so let, let's get into the juicy stuff so you selected this regional new south wales town first of all um obviously without sort of spilling every single bean. Um, mm -hmm. What is the kind of gold nuggets that you can share with everyone? You know, there's probably 10,000 people that are gonna watch this across yep. all platforms. How did you select this particular town of all the 15,000 suburbs? How did you do that uh, without having to go there? How did you do that with so much confidence? Well, we, uh, we, we managed to do that through, um, through a few different websites, analytic websites. Um, and, you know, using, I guess, the most important, probably about 10 to 15 data points um, uh, that you have, that you've, um, that you've taught us all about. And then how to analyze those data points is a lot more. Um, and like you said, don't go into it too much. But um, reality is, prior to doing this, out of 15,000 suburbs, I couldn't have told you one or two that I was confident was going to uh, do well. But having done this with the data provided, it's a no-brainer. You can walk in, look at the data, assess it, analyze it, and know with almost 100% certainty. I've only bought one property yet, so <laughs> once I've got a few more under my belt, then it'll be 100% certainty. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good few data points that you just need to keep your eye on and analyze. And when you know what you're looking for, simple. Yeah. And so then the process works is then we found the suburb, we want to find the right pockets or the right streets or right types of property within that suburb. So we use other data points now more quantitative plus qualitative, like less mm -hmm. numerical to kind of really round it off and be confident in the right pocket. And then it comes to finding a property. So you didn't find this property for under 400K online. How did you get it? Well, look, in... <laughs> Reality is once you've, you've gone through the process of, of figuring out where to buy, then it's about focusing on that space, that area. But I think the most important thing that you need to be able to do is being on the phone to agents, um, getting to know them, them getting to know you. Um, it's, it's potentially the most important aspect of this. Once you know the data and you know where you're looking, you've got to be willing to, to build those relationships. And that's what I did. So I was on the phone, um, texting, emailing, calling every few days, these agents, what have you got coming up? Um, and one agent in particular, I think it was my third call to her. So we're on a name to name basis. And um, she goes, Jack, remind me what you're looking for. And I said, three better, um, freestanding, 650 squares plus. And she goes, let me call you back. And within an hour, I had a call back. Um, and, you know, it was a bit of luck, definitely a bit of luck, but it was because I was constantly on the phone calling these agents that this, this um, opportunity arose. Um, and someone who just bought a property in Dubbo um, had just, were going to be relocated, um, government work, and they just wanted to sell. They just wanted a nice clean sale. Um, they'd bought about a month before I was looking. And prices had started to exceed the 400k mark for these three betters. They wanted to get rid of it for 395. Um, so we did our due diligence, did a building and pest that came back with a few problems. So we asked for 3,000 off, and we secured it for 392. It was a pretty clean deal. Yeah. 
And I think I just want to emphasize that for everyone who's who's watching and, and listening as well. You know, Jack didn't have five years worth of relationships with the people in this regional town. He didn't have three years or one year, even six months worth of, you know, relationships with these agents. So if you still think that you need to hire a buyer's agent because of their relationships, I mean, relationships are, are essential, but you can develop them. It took Jack a number of weeks and we're not talking hours a day, right? I mean, once you've focused into the right part of the suburb, you pick the top, you know, five, maximum 10 agents, and you just build a rapport with them, which takes a little bit of time, you know, a few minutes every day or a couple of hours over a week, but it's entirely doable over a course of a few weeks, then they know you like on a, on a name to name basis. And they actually want to help you. They're human beings. <laughs> They're not like used car salesmen to use that stereotype. I'm sure there's plenty of good used car salesmen as well. <laughs> nice people, Jack's a nice person. They're trying to help someone, right? Wasn't on real estate. And this is how you get off market deals. You don't need to go knock on people's doors and, you know, beg them to sell their house. That's not what you need to do. So you got this property, Jack, that wouldn't have been available if you were just browsing on real estate, like so many people do. Yeah. Um, you got it positive cash flow. You got it, you know, under, you could say under market value, because if it had been on real estate or domain, it would have been well in the fours, right? Yeah. Um, so you got it at a really good price compared to comparables. And, and maybe the last question that I'll, that I'll ask with your permission, um, if you, if you want to talk about it, you know, you're, um, you're training to be a buyer's agent. You're a kind of, it's a hobby for you to be, um, help others on the side right now. You're working for um, a firm, a buyer's agent firm, um, mm -hmm. which by the way, I have nothing against. Um, I, want sure thing, the, <laughs> I want to ask you the question, um, you know, now that you've done the property investment accelerator, are you more confident that when the time comes and you actually build your own buyer's agent business, uh, that you will be able to do that more successfully, more with more confidence and conviction than you were able to before, even despite you actually working for a buyer's agent? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Um, I can tell you right now that the company I work for, I can probably teach them a thing or two <laughs> about where to invest. They're teaching me everything I need to know about the ins and outs of being a buyer's agent. But when it comes to where to invest, they're experts in their domain. Um, and that's as far as it goes. So yeah, the course is, is done absolute wonders for me. Yeah. And it's, it's once you've learned it, it's, it's effective. It's a playbook. It's a playbook on property investment, where to invest, and it's all data-driven. Um, numbers don't lie. And if you know how to uh, analyze it, then you can't go wrong. So um, I, think, I think the course is phenomenal for anyone, whether they're a, a new property investor who's had zero experience, all the way through to someone who's a real estate agent or, or buyer's agent. You just got to go a bit easier on the buyer's agents, mate. That's all. <laughs> And, and, to, and to really, you know, we were talking about this before, to make it clear, if you have zero time and you have zero passion for property, don't buy my course. It'll be a waste of your money. Go yeah. use a buyer's agent because yeah. it's better to buy something than not buy anything at all. And like you were saying before, Jack, you know, in the eastern suburbs, it doesn't really make for great property investment or property investing right now and your agenda or your approach or your aspiration is really to help the average person buy in other parts of Australia, sub 400, sub 500K positive cash flow properties. And there are plenty of good buyers agents that actually do that as well. Plenty of not so good ones, but plenty of good ones as well. But mm -hmm. if you have some time, and if you have four or five hours a week, if you have a little bit of interest and passion for real estate, then my agenda is always the same. You do not need a buyer's agent. You can do this yourself. It's not actually rocket science, even though it seems like it's very daunting at the start. So you always have two options. In fact, the best option is none of the above. Try to do it yourself for free. Lots of information online. But if you can't do it, then you have these. I recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error and all that kind of thing. But hey, I, I, didn't, I didn't pay for buyer's aid. I didn't. Yeah, of course. Off self-taught but well on that on that Peggy. so i've done you know my my cert two in real estate so right there i've learned a lot more about the game than anyone i've been working as an assistant buyer's agent for 12 months but i had no idea i could have i did actually try and, and teach myself um but there's too much information out there way too much 
Um, I wanted a nice, easy, systematic approach to learn how to do it all. And that's what I got with your course. Oh, you're very kind, Jack. Last, last one, what's your, what's your why? So I think you were saying, if you don't mind me saying, you're about to turn 40. What, what are you trying to achieve out of property investing next 10, 15 years, something like that? Look, the, the goal is by 50 to have 10 properties. So aiming for my, so 40 in March, PK, not just yet, still another six, six months or so. But um, goal is to buy property number two before then. Um, and with, you know, the, it, it's all relevant um, and relative to earning potential, the, you know, family earnings, um, whatever my wife makes, what I earn as well. Um, there is a ceiling. But the, the plan is 10 properties in by the, by the time we're 50. Um, and, you know, passive income of about 100 grand. I'm doing this um, for quality of life. I want to spend more time doing what I want to do. Um, something that my children can fall back on. Something, a bit of security that I can pass on to them. Because the way the, uh, the world's going, it's going to be nice to have a few pockets of land that you can pass on to, to your next generation. Yeah. So... That's that's my why. Yeah, that's that's my why as well. I think that's everyone's why. I don't often come across people who want a fancy car, even though you see plenty of them in Bondi. It's <laughs> mostly just about some passive income. Get some freedom. As cliche as it sounds, just get a little bit of your life back. You know, it's not like you can get 100K passive income in five years. That's, you know, not really achievable for the average person. But 10 yep. years, 15 years, 20 years, it's entirely possible. That's That's the name of the game. Um, yeah thanks so much jack i really appreciate you making the time i know that you're not a huge fan of doing these things but i really really i do oh, appreciate good. It, jack. Um, no i appreciate it pk thank you mate anytime and guys if if you're watching you know if you have questions about jack steel so like i said bought for two uh, for 392 under market a little bit it's grown since then just in the in the last two months positive cash flow bought off market in an area that he didn't live so outside his backyard if you have any questions put them in the comments below i can't say that jack will answer them but i'll definitely try to try to answer them he's been watching this youtube channel and my socials as well so he might even jump jump in and answer i don't know and guys i always say the most important real estate is the six inches between your two ears so please 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 educate <laughs> yourself first of all for free and if you can't buy properties if you can't build passive income yourself then get help if you think that you vibe with me i'm happy to help otherwise there's plenty of free resources as well links below to my podcast 10,000 person community on facebook you know so many things out there so my name's pk this is jack and we both wish you happy property investing catch you later thanks man.